Hi guys, it's Christina, and today on Double Whammy, I am actually going to give you some tips and advice if you do have a disability, if you have like a mild disability where you're still um, high functioning, but there are just a few things that kind of get in the way. So growing up, I kind of had to learn how to adapt to things differently. Um, then most people would have to deal with them. Um, I have physical therapy um, basically my entire life until I was 18. They never really said, here's a different way you can do it to do the same thing, but just do it differently. I don't know if that was real sense. <laughs> but through my life, I have had to adapt and change things and do things differently to uh, become more efficient and not take so long with certain things or just not spill or bump it into things or break things. Just some tips and things that I do personally to help myself. Um, I do have mild cerebral palsy. Um, my whole body is basically affected, but my right side is definitely more of affected. Um, my right hand moves by itself, um, so when I'm carrying something, my right hand is basically kind of doing this the entire time. So carrying a full cup of water or a soda or what have you. Um, in my right hand, it's not always simple. <laughs> First one, uh, in high school, where you have like the cafeteria, you have your tray, uh, you have, you know, your food, maybe multiple plates, you have your full cup of what, soda, water, what have you, and you have to carry your entire tray through the cafeteria to your table. Now. If you don't have a disability, you don't think that that's really a big deal. For me, it's like an obstacle field. How can I get through this path that looks really daunting and get to my table with all my friends without spilling something, without bumping it into someone's back and then losing my balance and falling? Uh, there are just so many things. Going to lunch when I was younger was always a very stressful thing. I didn't want to be the odd one or do things to create more attention to myself than I wanted. So, what I did in high school to kind of help carry my thing, pretend this is my lunch tray and I have a cup. So, pretend that food like two plates on my tray and I also have a cup on my tray now as you can see just me doing this it's very it's already moving um when I have a full cup of hot water like two things and I have to somehow not tip this over it's not good so what I do is I actually take the cup off and put it in my good hand and then take the tray and actually rest the tray on my thumb and kind of hold my thumb out like that and I carry it like this and that way yeah the couple maybe spill a tiny bit um, but that way I can have more control over the cup as well as the tray. Another tip for carrying a full cup of water by itself without having to worry about the tray. I kind of n never have really carried a cup by itself if that's all I, I had. I never put it in my right hand. Um, I should probably practice that but I usually put it in my good hand and a trick for me that is kind of simple. Instead of filling it to the top, I kind of fill it like to the top and not. So that if it does move a tiny bit, it's not going to be like getting people wet. A tip for getting into a high car. 
I, I don't know if you have family that have like an SUV or friends that have like a huge truck. Some like older Jeeps are higher but they don't have like a step to get into. Hopefully the car has a like a little thing you can hold on to. I, what I do is I actually kind of hold on to it with my bad hand, hold on to the seat with my good hand and kind of pull myself in and then swivel and sit. Sometimes if the car is not super high, I kind of perch my butt <laughs> on, on the seat and then grab the, the thing on top from the inside and kind of pull myself scooch in and then swivel. There's many ways you can deal with that, whatever you're comfortable with. Another tip I want to give you, and this is more kind of when you are living by yourself, if you live with your parents or friends, or if you have a roommate, um, this can apply to you as well. Um, reaching things from high up. I'm, I, when I was living with my ex-girlfriend, um, a couple of years ago, <laughs> she would kind of, <laughs> she would get upset after a while of me constantly asking her for help to get things down, but she would be the one to always put things high up. So <laughs> I would always say if you put it lower, I wouldn't have to ask you for help. When you're living by yourself, I tend to put things on the first row of the cabinets if they have rows. Um, maybe this is the second row, definitely not the third. If I can help it, I'm not that person that can just hop on the counter or crawl up onto the counter and just grab it. So when I moved to Wisconsin, um, my sister has a boat, um, which they just sold, but now they have a sailboat. And um, we we get into the boat and go water skiing, or go to tubing, or uh, now that she's a sailboat, we just kind of hang hang out. Like, getting into boats was my new obstacle. Depending on the boat, her speedboat um, was kind of at the height in the water where you could like sit on the edge of the boat and then throw your legs over. Um, all my family is very athletic, very capable, so they kind of just like walk into the boat like it's not a big deal. What I do for this speedboat is I kind of have someone help me sit down on the edge of the boat, facing out, like away from the boat, and then I kind of swivel my legs over into the boat to get on. Um, for their sailboat, they actually have uh, trampolines on the sides, which is kind of helpful. <laughs> There's ropes coming down, so I actually just grab a rope that's taut, um, and then I just kind of step onto the rim and then onto the trampoline part of the boat. Um, and then you can just sit down. You have to practice, you definitely, for all of these things, you just have to kind of get into the, your own groove know your body, will find ways to do things uh, that you didn't know you could do. Like for me, I can't ride a bike, but I can ride a tricycle. Things like that you just have to be okay with having a little change in, in your life. I'm proud of you. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you know someone who's disabled or has cerebral palsy, please send this to them. Share it. Get your friends to watch it. And just create some more awareness about CP and how even if you don't have it, how you can help someone that has it with, you know, their daily life. And if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe. I talk about things about uh, disabilities cerebral palsy, yeah, but I also talk about um, LGBT things, um, maybe I'll throw in some P-flag things, um, and random videos about being gay or queer or pansexual, 
Um, sometimes I have my friends in my videos. And I know I've probably said this a thousand times, but next week I might not have my usual uh, Wednesday, Friday videos. Um, I'm going to California back home um, for six days and I plan on vlogging every single day um, and the last day will be San Francisco Pride. I'm so excited. Um, I'm really happy just to go home, see my family, hang out. I've been in Wisconsin for a year now and I've only gone back home for three days so this will be nice just to go home and kind of hang out for a while. Um, so I plan on going to the beach and going things with my family and friends so I will definitely vlog every day next week. I hope you guys have a great day. Live with kindness and lead with love.